So now we're going to move on to filing your nails. We're going to start off using the glass nail file. So I'm just going to put the three-way buffer aside for now. So we've done the sides of our nails, so now we're going to concentrate on filing and shaping our nails. So before we begin, we're only ever going to be coming into contact with the underneath of the nail and round the outer edges of the nail, the free edge. At no time at all are we going to be coming into contact with the surface of the nail. If the nail file comes into the to contact with the surface of the nail, small nail edges will form, causing the nail to split horizontally, also causing the nail varnish to chip, split and peel flake. It'll look untidy at all times, it's never going to look nice and neat. So, okay, let's get started filing these nails. So again, I'm going to start off using my glass nail file, which I like this one from Asda. Now, when you do buy your glass nail file, I do suggest that if you're buying it from a store where it's out of town, you, you buy it on a nail filing day so you can try before you buy. Because I've had many glass nail files and some of them are just terrible. And this one's great. Uh, whereas I bought this from the Asda and I just kept the receipt in case I got it home and it was a duff one. I would have took it back and changed it. But like I say, if it's out of town, you just as well try and before you buy. So we we'll only do that obviously if it's a nail filing day. So let's get started. So we filed the sides of our nails, which is what we do first. We just take any debris away and make sure our lines are str our lines here are nice and straight. So let's get started. So we're going to start from behind the nail. Can you see sort of what angle that is? Not quite 45. But we're going to go from behind the nail. And because we're using the glass nail file, it means we can go over the top we don't have to go from left to right or right to left now depending on the month and the year you're going to have between two and four nail filing periods now during the first now fit nail filing period that's when you're going to remove most of your length i.e. up to depending on how long your nails are maybe up to a millimeter and then during the middle um, nail filing period you're literally going to be shaping them and tidying them up um, you may not need to remove any length however on the last nail filing period you may want to remove them down to a, a sustainable length if you leave them too long once we're through into the growth cycle you, well you can file them again but it's going to be detrimental but we want them to be at a nice shape and a nice length going into the active um, nail phase nail growth phase so the main filing of the nail we're going to do is on the first nail filing period because that's when the most length is going to come off. So again we're going from the back behind the nail on a slight angle. Now when it comes to shaping the nails, we never shape the nails until the nail has left the nail wall here. Can you see if I pull that back? actually see there's the wall that it sits in so if I push me pad me the pad of my finger now against that you can actually see that I don't start shaping my nails until that has left the nail pad now we don't want to start shaping the nails out below this if you start shaping your nails below this nail wall they're going to break off so we can use this file as a guide we can go from behind use your pad which takes we don't want any harshness on our walls, we want them to flow and be nice and arced. See? You can go from behind the nail this way. We can go behind the nail this way to take the length off. Now, when it comes to the length of your nail tips, now what you'll see here is this finger has the longest tip then this one slightly shorter this one is slightly shorter than this one and your little finger is slightly shorter than this one now your thumbnail is going to be slightly shorter than your biggest nail here and what you find is it runs in a nice pyramid down to here you see if you've done your nail tips all the same size, by the time you get up to here, it looks like you've got a short nail compared to all the others. 
and we really don't want that. See, these I haven't filed yet, but as you can see, they go up into a nice pyramid. Again, this is your long, your middle finger is your longest nail. Then this finger is your next longest to this one, to your pinky, to your thumb. Your thumb is going to be just slightly shorter than the, your longest nail. And remember, we don't start shaping until they've grown past the pad. See? That's where the shaping takes place. Because your nails, this is where the, the, the your nail shaping is an illusion. Because your nails are actually only, they're quite flat really, when you look at them. Because these should mirror this part. So it's this should be here, the shape mirrors this here and your finger pad there. If you look, do little triangle shapes on the end here, if you knock them on anything they're going to want to break and because of the pressure they break here at your free edges, very very painful so you don't want that. So again we're filing the nail from behind the nail. And we're going to use our other finger that we haven't filed to use as a guide because we don't want to over file too much of them but we don't want to under file them either so we're going to use that as a guide. 